Imatinab, Wikipedia Audio Imatinab, sold under the brand names Gleevec among others, is a medication used to treat cancer. Specifically, it is used for chronic myelogenous leukemia and acute lymphocytic leukemia that are Philadelphia chromosome positive and certain types of gastrointestinal stromal tumors, systemic mastocytosis, and myelodysplastic syndrome. It is taken by mouth. Common side effects include vomiting, diarrhea, muscle pain, headache, and rash. Severe side effects may include fluid retention, gastrointestinal bleeding, bone marrow suppression, liver problems, and heart failure. Use during pregnancy may result in harm to the baby. Imatinib works by stopping the BCRABL tyrosine kinase. This can slow growth or result in programmed cell death of certain types of cancer cells. Imatinib was approved for medical use in the United States in 2001. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about $1,386.49-19,162.50 a year. In the United States a typical dose for a year has a wholesale cost of $84,408.78, while in the United Kingdom the NHS was paying about £20,980 in 2016. A generic version became available in the UK as of 2017. Medical Uses Imatinib is used to treat chronic myelogenous leukemia, gastrointestinal stromal tumors and a number of other malignancies. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved imatinib as first-line treatment for Philadelphia chromosome-positive CML, both in adults and children. The drug is approved in multiple contexts of Philadelphia chromosome-positive CML including after stem cell transplant, in blast crisis, and newly diagnosed. Hepatic impairment, risk of severe CHF or left ventricular dysfunction, especially in patients with comorbidities, pregnancy, risk of embryo-fetal toxicity, risk of fluid retention, risk of growth stunting in children or adolescents. Due in part to the development of imatinib and related drugs, the five-year survival rate for people with chronic myeloid leukemia increased from 31% in 1993 to 59% in 2003 to 2009. The FDA first granted approval for advanced GIST patients in 2002. On February 1, 2012, Imatinib was approved for use after the surgical removal of KIT-positive tumors to help prevent recurrence. The drug is also approved in unresectable KIT-positive gists. The FDA has approved imatinib for use in adults with relapsed or refractory Philadelphia chromosome-positive acute lymphoblastic leukemia myelodysplastic slash myeloproliferative diseases associated with platelet-derived growth factor receptor gene rearrangements, aggressive systemic mastocytosis without or an unknown D816VC kit mutation, hypereosinophilic syndrome, and slash or chronic eosinophilic leukemia who have the FIP1L1PDGFR-alpha fusion kinase or FIP1L1PDGFR-alpha fusion kinase negative or unknown. Unresectable recurrent and slash or metastatic dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. On January 25, 2013, Gleevec was approved for use in children with pH and all. For treatment of progressive plexiform neurofibromas associated with neurofibromatosis type I, 
early research has shown potential for using the C-kit tyrosine kinase blocking properties of imatinib. The only known contraindication to imatinib is hypersensitivity to imatinib. Cautions include The RIS-MAPK pathway, which leads to increased proliferation due to increased growth factor independent cell growth, it also affects the SRC-PAX-FAX-RAC pathway. This affects the cytoskeleton, which leads to increased cell motility and decreased adhesion, the PI-PI3K-AKT-BCL2 pathway is also affected. BCL2 is responsible for keeping the mitochondria stable, this suppresses cell death by apoptosis and increases survival. The last pathway that BCRABL affects is the JAK STAT pathway, which is responsible for proliferation. The most common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, headaches, leg aches cramps, fluid retention, visual disturbances, itchy rash lowered resistance to infection, bruising or bleeding, loss of appetite, weight gain, reduced number of blood cells, and edema. Although rare, restoration of hair color has been reported as well. Severe congestive cardiac failure is an uncommon but recognized side effect of imatinib and mice treated with large doses of imatinib show toxic damage to their myocardium. If imatinib is used in prepubescent children, it can delay normal growth, although a proportion will experience catch-up growth during puberty. Chronic Myelogenous Leukemia Medical experience with imatinib overdose is limited. Treatment is supportive. Imatinib is highly plasma protein-bound, dialysis is unlikely to be helpful removing imatinib. Imatinib is a 2-phenylaminopyrimidine derivative that functions as a specific inhibitor of a number of tyrosine kinase enzymes. It occupies the TK active site, leading to a decrease in activity. There are a large number of TK enzymes in the body, including the insulin receptor. Imatinib is specific for the TK domain in ABL, CKIT, and PDGFR. In chronic myelogenous leukemia, the Philadelphia chromosome leads to a fusion protein of ABL with BCR, termed BCRABL. As this is now a constitutively active tyrosine kinase, imatinib is used to decrease BCRABL activity. The active sites of tyrosine kinases each have a binding site for ADP. The enzymatic activity catalyzed by a tyrosine kinase is the transfer of the terminal phosphate from ADP to tyrosine residues on its substrates, a process known as protein tyrosine phosphorylation. Imatinib works by binding close to the ADP binding site of BCRABL, locking it in a closed or self-inhibited conformation and therefore inhibiting the enzyme activity of the protein semi-competitively. This fact explains why many BCRABL mutations can cause resistance to imatinib by shifting its equilibrium toward the open or active conformation. Imatinib is quite selective for BCRABL, though it does also inhibit other targets mentioned above, as well as ABL2 and DDR1 tyrosine kinases and NQO2, an oxidoreductase. Imatinib also inhibits the ABL protein of non-cancer cells, but these cells normally have additional redundant tyrosine kinases, which allows them to continue to function even if ABL tyrosine kinase is inhibited. Some tumor cells, however, have a dependence on BCRABL. Inhibition of the BCRABL tyrosine kinase also stimulates its entry into the nucleus, where it is unable to perform any of its normal anti-apoptopic functions, leading to tumor cell death. 
the BCRABL pathway has many downstream pathways including gastrointestinal stromal tumors. Other Imatinib is rapidly absorbed when given by mouth, and is highly bioavailable, 98% of an oral dose reaches the bloodstream. Metabolism of imatinib occurs in the liver and is mediated by several isozymes of the cytochrome P450 system, including CYP3A4 and, to a lesser extent, CYP1A2, CYP2D6, CYP2C9, and CYP2C19. The main metabolite, and demethylated piperazine derivative, is also active. The major route of elimination is in the bile and feces, only a small portion of the drug is excreted in the urine. Most of imatinib is eliminated as metabolites, only 25% is eliminated unchanged. The half-lives of imatinib and its main metabolite are 18H and 40H, respectively. It blocks the activity of Abelson cytoplasmic tyrosine kinase, CKIT, and the platelet-derived growth factor receptor. As an inhibitor of PDGFR, imatinib mesilate appears to have utility in the treatment of a variety of dermatological diseases. Imatinib has been reported to be an effective treatment for FIP1L1 PDGF alpha and mast cell disease, hyperiosinophilic syndrome, and dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. Contraindications and cautions Side effects Overdose Mechanism of action Other pathways affected its use is advised against in people on strong CYP3A4 inhibitors such as clarithromycin, chloramphenicol, ketoconazole, ritonavir, and nefazodone due to its reliance on CYP3A4 for metabolism. Likewise it is a CYP3A4, CYP2D6, and CYP2C9 inhibitor and hence concurrent treatment with substrates of any of these enzymes may increase plasma concentrations of said drugs. Since imatinib is mainly metabolized via the liver enzyme CYP3A4, substances influencing the activity of this enzyme change the plasma concentration of the drug. An example of a drug that increases imatinib activity and therefore side effects by blocking CYP3A4 is ketoconazole. The same could be true of itraconazole, clarithromycin, grapefruit juice, among others. Conversely, CYP3A4 inductors like rifampicin and ST. John's word reduce the drug's activity, risking therapy failure. Imatinib also acts as an inhibitor of CYP3A4, 2C9, and 2D6, increasing the plasma concentrations of a number of other drugs like simvastatin, cyclosporin, pimazide, warfarin, metaprolol, and possibly paracetamol. The drug also reduces plasma levels of levothyroxine via an unknown mechanism. As with other immunosuppressants, Application of live vaccines is contraindicated because the microorganisms in the vaccine could multiply and infect the patient. Inactivated and toxoid vaccines do not hold this risk, but may not be effective under imatinib therapy. Imatinib was invented in the late 1990s by scientists at Sibagigi in a team led by biochemist Nicholas Leiden and that included Elizabeth Buchdunger and Jörg Zimmermann and its use to treat CML was driven by oncologist Brian Drucker of Oregon Health and Science University. Other major contributions to imatinib development were made by Carlo Gambacorti Passerini, a physician, scientist, and hematologist at University of Milano by Cacca, Italy. John Goldman at Hammersmith Hospital in London, UK, and later on by Charles Sawyers of Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Centre. Drucker led the clinical trials confirming its efficacy in CML. 
pharmacokinetics. Imatinib was developed by rational drug design. After the Philadelphia chromosome mutation and hyperactive BCRABL protein were discovered, the investigators screened chemical libraries to find a drug that would inhibit that protein. With high throughput screening, they identified 2-phenylaminopyrimidine. This lead compound was then tested and modified by the introduction of methyl and benzamide groups to give it enhanced binding properties, resulting in imatinib. When Novartis tested imatinib in rats, mice, rabbits, dogs, and monkeys in 1996, it was found to have several toxic effects, in particular, Results indicating liver damage in dogs nearly stopped drug development completely. However, favorable results in studies with monkeys and in vitro human cells allowed testing to continue in humans. The first clinical trial of Gleevec took place in 1998, after Novartis reluctantly synthesized and released a few grams of the drug for Drucker enough for him to run a trial using a hundred or so patients. The drug received FDA approval in May 2001, only two and a half years after the new drug application was submitted. On the same month it made the cover of Time magazine as a bullet to be used against cancer. Drucker, Leiden, and Sawyers received the Lasker DeBakey Clinical Medical Research Award in 2009 for converting a fatal cancer into a manageable chronic condition. During the FDA review, the trade name of the drug for the U.S. market was changed from Glevec to Glevec at the request of the FDA, to avoid confusion with Glycet, a diabetes drug. A Swiss patent application was filed on imanitib and various salts on in April 1992, which was then filed in the EU, the US, and other countries in March and April 1993. And in 1996 United States and European patent offices issued patents listing Georg Zimmermann as the inventor. In July 1997, Novartis filed a new patent application in Switzerland on the beta crystal in form of imatinib mesilate. The beta crystal in form of the molecule is a specific polymorph of imatinib mesilate, a specific way that the individual molecules pack together to form a solid. This is the actual form of the drug sold as Glevec slash Glevec, a salt as opposed to a free base and the beta crystalline form as opposed to the alpha or other form, 3 and 4 in 1998, Novartis filed international patent applications claiming priority to the 1997 filing. A United States patent was granted in 2005. In 2013, more than 100 cancer specialists published a letter in blood saying that the prices of many new cancer drugs, including imatinib, are so high that people in the United States couldn't afford them, and that the level of prices, and profits, was so high as to be immoral. Signatories of the letter included Brian Drucker, Carlo Gambacorti Passerini, and John Goldman, developers of imatinib. They wrote that in 2001, imatinib was priced at $30,000 a year, which was based on the price of interferon, then the standard treatment, and that at this price Novartis would have recouped its initial development costs in two years. They wrote that after unexpectedly becoming a blockbuster, Novartis increased the price to $92,000 per year in 2012 with annual revenues of $4.7 billion. Other physicians have complained about the cost. Interactions By 2016, the average wholesale price had increased to $120,000 a year, according to an analysis prepared for the Washington Post by Stacey DeSetsina of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. 
when competitive drugs came on the market, they were sold at a higher price to reflect the smaller population, and Novartis raised the price of Gleevec to match them. A 2012 economic analysis funded by Bristol Myers Squibb estimated that the discovery and development of imatinib and related drugs had created $143 billion in societal value at a cost to consumers of approximately $14 billion. The $143 billion figure was based on an estimated 7.5 to 17.5 year survival advantage conferred by a matinab treatment, and included the value of ongoing benefits to society after the imatinib patent expiration. History Prices for a 100 mg pill of Gleevec internationally range from $20 to $30, although generic imatinib is cheaper, as low as $2 per pill. Novartis fought a seven-year, controversial battle to patent Gleevec in India, and took the case all the way to the Indian Supreme Court. The patent application at the centre of the case was filed by Novartis in India in 1998 after India had agreed to enter the World Trade Organization and to abide by worldwide intellectual property standards under the TRIPS agreement. As part of this agreement, India made changes to its patent law, the biggest of which was that prior to these changes, patents on products were not allowed, while afterwards they were, albeit with restrictions. These changes came into effect in 2005, so Novartis' patent application waited in a mailbox with others until then, under procedures that India instituted to manage the transition. India also passed certain amendments to its patent law in 2005, just before the laws came into effect. Costs Patent litigation in India Research The patent application claimed the final form of Gleevec, 3 in 1993, during the time India did not allow patents on products, Novartis had patented imatinib, with salts vaguely specified, in many countries but could not patent it in India. The key differences between the two patent applications were that 1998 patent application specified the Count Arian while the 1993 patent application did not claim any specific salts nor did it mention mesylate, and the 1998 patent application specified the solid form of Gleevec the way the individual molecules are packed together into a solid when the drug itself is manufactured while the 1993 patent application did not. The solid form of imatinib mesylate in Gleevec is beta-crystalline. As provided under the TRIPS agreement, Novartis applied for exclusive marketing rights for Gleevec from the Indian Patent Office and the EMR was granted in November 2003. Novartis made use of the EMR to obtain orders against some generic manufacturers who had already launched Gleevec in India. When examination of Novartis' patent application began in 2005, it came under immediate attack from oppositions initiated by generic companies that were already selling Gleevec in India and by advocacy groups. The application was rejected by the patent office and by an appeal board. The key basis for the rejection was the part of Indian patent law that was created by amendment in 2005 describing the patentability of new uses for known drugs and modifications of known drugs. That section, 3D, specified that such inventions are patentable only if they differ significantly in properties with regard to efficacy. At one point, Novartis went to court to try to invalidate section 3D. It argued that the provision was unconstitutionally vague and that it violated TRIPS. Novartis lost that case and did not appeal. Novartis did appeal the rejection by the Patent Office to India's Supreme Court, which took the case. 
The Supreme Court case hinged on the interpretation of Section 3D. The Supreme Court issued its decision in 2013, ruling that the substance that Novartis sought to patent was indeed a modification of a known drug, that Novartis did not present evidence of a difference in therapeutic efficacy between the final form of Gleevec and the raw form of imatinib and that therefore the patent application was properly rejected by the patent office and lower courts. One study demonstrated that imatinib mesilate was effective in patients with systemic mastocytosis, including those who had the D816V mutation in C-kit. However, since imatinib binds to tyrosine kinases when they are in the inactive configuration and the D816V mutant of C-kit is constitutively active, imatinib does not inhibit the kinase activity of the D816V mutant of C-kit. Experience has shown, however, that imatinib is much less effective in patients with this mutation and patients with the mutation comprise nearly 90% of cases of mastocytosis. Imatinib was initially thought to have a potential role in the treatment of pulmonary hypertension. It was shown to reduce both the smooth muscle hypertrophy and hyperplasia of the pulmonary vasculature in a variety of disease processes, including portopulmonary hypertension. However, a long-term trial of imatinib in people with pulmonary arterial hypertension was unsuccessful and serious and unexpected adverse events were frequent. These included six subdural hematomas and 17 deaths during or within 30 days of study end. In systemic sclerosis, the drug has been tested for potential use in slowing down pulmonary fibrosis. In laboratory settings, Imatinib is being used as an experimental agent to suppress platelet-derived growth factor by inhibiting its receptor. One of its effects is delaying atherosclerosis in mice without or with diabetes. Mouse animal studies have suggested that imatinib and related drugs may be useful in treating smallpox, should an outbreak ever occur. In vitro studies identified that a modified version of imatinib can bind to gamma secretase activating protein. GSAP selectively increases the production and accumulation of neurotoxic beta amyloid plagues, which suggests that molecules which target GSAP and are able to cross blood brain barrier are potential therapeutic agents for treating Alzheimer's disease. Another study suggests that imatinib may not need to cross the blood-brain barrier to be effective at treating Alzheimer's, as the research indicates the production of beta amyloid may begin in the liver. Tests on mice indicate that imatinib is effective at reducing beta amyloid in the brain. It is not known whether reduction of beta amyloid is a feasible way of treating Alzheimer's, as an anti-beta amyloid vaccine has been shown to clear the brain of plagues without having any effect on Alzheimer symptoms. A formulation of imatinib with a cyclodextrin as a carrier to overcome the blood-brain barrier is also currently considered as an experimental drug for lowering and reversing opioid tolerance. Imatinib has shown reversal of tolerance in rats. Imatinib is an experimental drug in the treatment of desmoid tumor or aggressive fibromatoses. RET inhibitors, Vanditanib, Ontrectinib, CMET inhibitor, Cabazantinib.